Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friend. Here's Baiano. In this video here, I'm just going to show you guys how to make a rat trap. I just noticed that we have a few rats around. Not inside the house, but outside. I just don't like to see them around. I'm just gonna make a trap. I have this piece here from a for sale sign. I'm just gonna cut it around, set it up, and I'm gonna show you guys the process. And I got a pen, just gonna mark in here. Gonna cut it around a little bit smaller than what I marked. I have my for sale sign that I cut. I have my clothes hanger. So something that I just can find around doesn't take that long and uh, and I have a bucket very much is what I have in here the reason for this uh, for sale sign I like it because I have those little holes there I just poke the clothes hanger right on it I can show you guys something like that hard little bit hard to do with one hand but it's not impossible there you go what is in Okay, this is pretty much how it's gonna work. I'm just gonna glue or tape some food in there. Right to the walk in, bang, and I'm gonna have some water. What I have to do on this end, I'm gonna put a little bit to weight in here. That way, just keep a better balance. And then this thing just gonna flap in and let's cut some rat. Very simple, doesn't take much time. In my case, just something that I have kicking around. All the time I have a ton of bucket, pen paint bucket clothes hang is not a problem the cell sign I like it because uh, the holes in there just make it to work good with cardboard probably to work anything would work that you can poke the wires in I gonna need my two hands in here I just gonna put some weight on this side and put some food in there and we'll be good to go and I show you guys yes my friend this is what I have in here. It's my rat trap. I have some food in there. And for the weight to balance the weight, you guys can see in here. I just cut a few pieces of the clothes hanger and just put in there so that way I have balance. You guys can see it. Let me show you. See? Just cut a few pieces of the clothes hanger. I have them right there where I have a good balance with the weight. And uh, I'm gonna put this guy out the side and let's see how it works. Should work pretty good. Other thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see what I have. Put a cover on here, otherwise the rat just come in and eat the food and go away. If I put something a little bit higher, I'm just gonna have to make something around. Just let one way in for the rat, this way. That way the trap is a little bit more effective. I could cut the bucket. I done before with the bucket. Cut the bucket, put a little bit lower. The problem is sometimes the rat just managed to escape. Like you guys can see, this go down, but that does not come up. See, get stuck. If the rat try to push the way up, just not come up. Sure, a mouse might escape through the holes. You guys can see, it would go down, back up by itself. There I go my for sale sign, not selling much stuff lately, so I'm not gonna be needing this guy. Let's see how it work. I keep you guys update what happened. I'm just gonna dab something around it and I'm gonna show you guys in here. I just put this cover here. I just get this kicking around. That way the rat doesn't eat the food from that side. This way, you, no way. If he wants to get to the food, gotta have to get in through here and step on the board. I don't know what is the weight of the rat, but this is very light. So it would go down. Let's see how effective it is. If you want to cut them alive, just don't put water on the bucket. In this case, not sure yet what I'm gonna do. Probably I would put uh, some water on it just to make sure it's gonna held in there. But uh, this is pretty good, like I say. Oh, even the rat try to to get out, can get out through this way, but not the other way. So it's a chance that it would stay in there. This is why I just gonna put some water because they can be very aggressive. This is how you make a trap and this is like uh, took me to do the whole thing less than a half an hour. So it would be less time than going to the store to buy a trap. Nice and simple and let's see the result. I'm gonna put this guy up, set it up. Just gonna, here I'm gonna put it close to some wood that I have. If I have nothing, you just make a place where they can climb. Let's set it up and go from there. I have some cat food. I don't have cat, but we have some uh, street cat, feral cats, and I just feed them. I just, uh, I like to have them around because they help to control the, the rat. 
It's just uh, last year the city came by and trap trap most the cats and uh, so I guess I start to see a few more rats around. Is what it is. Oh, Sometimes they just come for the cat food. Okay guys, let me set this guy up and see what we're gonna cut. Like you can see guys, for this one in here, I just use a bucket that I had around. A full cell sign and a clothes hanger, everything that I had around, everything was around so nice and easy and let's get it done yeah guys i have my trap in here let's start to look on it what i have in there guys have this guy in there it's not a real big rat like on the trap i just put this cover that way could not eat the food here on top of it you can see how messy it is they be on top mess around with it from the top once they go in for the food just drop down like i say it's not a real big one but it's a good size this one this way works good because you can get a go underneath the plus cover in there then fell down but if it's a big one probably you'd try to escape a little bit hard but not impossible just something to pass time like this one here is pretty used i prepare this guy faster than if i go to the store to buy and i can leave this one around nothing happened something a rat fell inside just gonna be there just a way to control some pest around the house hello my friends bayani here just looking here and I saw a dead rat inside my bucket today. Like I say, this trap, I don't know how effective it is because I don't know how often the rats come here. But we can see, we look there, we have sign that they've been walk on top of it and go, so. But we have one in there. I am not so sure how long it's been there in this water, but I know I'm gonna dump it out this water, get rid of this guy and put some... Uh, new water in i guess just in case this one uh, not wants it to be too stink go from there uh, the trap works i don't know how real effective it is because i i don't have a camera set up to see how the rat come by but uh, by put this one on top it helps a lot because the just one way for the rat try to get the food would be by stepping there right they cannot get the food from here like you guys can see how messy it is on top so they've been trying to get the food without going but it happened this is the second one that fell in this trap was something that didn't take very long to do it and this work i didn't get any baby rat yet okay let me get rid of this uh this rat and the water what i gonna do here i'm just gonna grab it and dump the water with rat and then i get rid of the rat gonna get rid of it i'm just gonna put the uh, new water in and we go from there i dump it there and i have a, a spider just coming right away on walk on top of the rat so guys that much water should be planted just gonna put it back on the spot there you go trap is set up the way it is you can see the rat being around tracy where they shoe in there i just gotta have to find a place to keep uh, my stuff because right now i don't have uh, a garage in this place yet so i have some stuff here and there around the yard until i figure it out for now is what it is let's leave this guy in there my trap here is set up again i just put some new water there so it is set up ready to go wait for the next one to come up step in and it's gonna flip this one here is above there but doesn't go down because i have support so this one is free to go okay guys let me get rid of uh, that rat in there and uh, take from there all right so guys this is what it is gonna grab this guy get rid of it it is backed up so i'm gonna just uh, dispose of it and go from there how life goes right few rats in here it just uh, they come by and then i just uh, try to have it a little bit under control because these guys they just they can make some damage i love you guys see you soon